Hello there, welcome to your detailed measurement assessment. Let's first give the hands some sanitization. We have quite a few areas to explore. We have the general head dimensions, we have ears, eyes, nose, mouth and neck measurements today. So first we'll start with head width in three locations. Okay, head steady facing me please. On the lower mandible. On the width at the cheekbone level there. Forehead level. Head width. And now head height. And then just centrally, please. Okay, I'll record the results shortly, but I'm going to move on to the ears next. I want to check the height of the ears. So I'll just look to your left ever so slightly, please. And the ear width. Top. The bottom just going to measure the width of the trigus. And just the helix. left side. We'll record those results down. So head width at three levels. The mandible, cheekbone and the forehead level. We have the height of the head in those three locations. Centrally. We have the ears, ear width, we check the trigus, and the helix. Very precise measurements. Okay, we're going to be looking at your eyes next. First, I want to check the general distance between them, the pupillary distance. So I'm just going to rest this here. Look toward my open eye. And the other one. This one and this one. Excellent. And let's see if we can check the monocular distance, please. Look towards this side. Right. 
actually saw it. And this eye, please. So PD and iris diameter there. Let's check we have a nice round iris. Look into this eye. Look into this eye. millimeters vertically and horizontally for the iris pupil on diameter 66 millimeters right 33 left 33 monocularly HVID 10 millimeters VPA Okay, look towards me. I'm going to measure your ocular status, ocular motor. I'm just doing the color test. Look towards this side, please. Let's do the swinging color test. Look towards this side. if I block the view. Look towards my finger please. an unorthodox measurement. We're going to use the Sherma strips to check your tear production. I'm just going to prepare them for you. Okay, I'm just going to hook the end, place it just over the lower lid give you a few seconds and then I'll check the tear production on the scale there. So just look up for me please. Look this over the lower lid there, thank you. Okay, just look towards me for a few seconds. Okay, let's remove the strip there, thank you. Fifteen mil. And we'll do the one on the left. Okay, look up again, please. Okay, just let that rest there, look towards me. Using the Sherma strips. We perform the cover test, distance and near. No movement detected, distance. Near, approximate 426 diopter, hexaphoria. 
rapid recovery. And while I think about it, just follow the tip of the pencil towards the nose, please. Any double vision? Still one pencil there. Excellent. So the exophoria is well controlled at the moment. One thing we haven't done is the pupil sizes yet. Okay, we have a scale here. We're checking the pupil sizes in millimetres, double-sided. Okay, just look towards me, please. Lovely. You're looking towards me. Resting on the side of the head for support. Measuring the pupils at six millimetres. Right and left. So I think that completes the ocular measurements. Well done. We've done head, ears, eyes. And we're going to look at some nasal measurements next. Let's have a look at the dimensions of the nose. These are going to be angular measurements. We'll place the ruler just on the bridge. Check the frontal angle first, please. Let's just get that there. Excellent. Ten, twenty degrees. Thank you. And that is just shy of twenty degrees. The ruler is going to rest on the bridge at this angle there. This is going to be the splay angle. the nose using the scale here to do it at the level of the nostrils first. That is about 18 mil. I'm going to just increase the height slightly on this measurement in two locations to check the ratio. circumference of the nostrils now. This is where this scale here is going to come in useful. So I'll tilt the head back slightly please. That is about a five on the right and for the left Uh, 
know my openings of about five millimeters there. Excellent. So we said the frontal angle, right and left, was approximately 20 degrees. Splay angle, 15 to 14 degrees. Right and left. Nose width. measurements of the mouth. I would like a smile, I would like a non-smile, and then I'm going to measure the height from top to bottom lid. Let's bring the tape measure back into play. Okay, would you look towards me? I want a non-smiling face please. Yeah, fairly Serious expression. Okay, now give me a smile, please. Excellent, an increase of at least 10 millimeters there. Okay, back to a serious face, please. Vertical measurement there. Top to bottom of lips. Good. And let's move on to the neck. So I want neck height. Okay, tilt the uh, head back slightly. Okay, and neck width. And let's try the circumference of the neck. results down for you. So we did math, smile width, non-smile width, top to bottom of lips was 2.5 centimeters, neck height, neck width, and for circumference of neck, at 15 inches. Okay, so I hope you're lying comfortably, flat on the bed there. We're going to take some more measurements, but this time of the thorax and the upper body, maybe even arms, hands and fingers. So let's get the tape measure ready. I'm just going to do chest width there for you, chest width. And waist. Uh, just a measurement on the chest. And vertically please. Breathe normally.
Okay, arms resting by the sides. Just going to do the length from shoulder to fingertips. Eighty three centimetres. And this one, please. Eighty three point five centimetres there. Okay, let me just work on your hands now. Height. And width. Okay, fingers just out like so, please. Nice and flat. Pinky length. Index finger. Middle finger. Thumb. And just that one. Let's use this ruler. Pinky is five. Ring finger six. Middle finger six point five. Next one six. And thumb five point five centimeters. Thank you. Arm length, right and left, and width, and height, and then those individual finger and thumb measurements, right and left, thumb, index, middle, ring, pinky, pinky, ring, middle, index, thumb. Just a few more intricate measurements, please. Stacking a couple of ratios here. Excellent. I think we have all the measurements that we require today. I'm going to let you go now. You can pop your top on. And I'll see you in the clinic very shortly for some more assessments.